Hello all, welcome to this channel CFD Baba. Here we simulate CFD cases using ANSYS Workbench Fluent. Today I will show you the most straightforward way to plot NACA 2412 airfoil in ANSYS Design Modeler. First of all, go to your browser and search for Airfoil Tools 2412. Click on the first link that appears on your browser. Once you go inside the link, you will see the coordinates for NACA 2412 airfoil. You can select the coordinates from here and copy them into your Excel file. So click on copy, create a new blank Excel file paste the values in here. You can see that they have been pasted in a single column. To separate the column, go in data and select text to columns. Click next. Select the delimiters as space. Click next. Click finish. You can see that now we have two columns. Search for the entry 00. Copy all the rows below 00. Cut and paste it in a different column. These are the XY coordinates for our airfoil. If you view the airfoil, if you plot these same points inside Design Modeler, you will notice that the tailing end does not meet at a single point. To solve this problem, we will do a small modification in the Excel file. These are the X coordinates and these are the Y coordinates. We need to specify our third coordinate that is the Z coordinate. We will specify Z coordinate as 0. Double click and you will get the same entry for all the rows. Do the same thing for the second part. So we have split our airfoil into two curves. The upper curve which will denote the upper side of the airfoil and the next is the lower curve. This will denote the lower side of the airfoil. We will plot these two curves separately. Once you have finished plotting the x, y and z coordinates, we need to specify two additional entries. We need to specify the entry for a group and for points. So basically all these points will lie inside group 1. You can give any number to your group. Next we have to specify the number of the point. So this is first point, this is second point. And we have total 18 points in our upper curve. Similarly, we will have to plot for the lower curve. But we need to do a small modification. We have to add a new point. As you can see here, the ending point of the upper curve is at 0, 0, 0. So the starting point of the lower curve should also be 0, 0 and 0. The same nomenclature should be followed for lower curve as well. Copy the group and points and paste them next to the lower curve. Now if you observe you can see that the upper curve is starting from the point 1, 0 0.0013 and 0. So we want the starting point and the end point of our geometry to be same. That's why I will change the y dimension from minus to plus 0 0.0013. Now you can observe that the starting point of the curve and ending point of the curve are same. This will ensure that our airfoil meets at the trailing edge and also it ensures that the airfoil will meet at the leading edge as well. This is how we create 
the points inside our Excel. But ANSYS Design Modeler imports the files in form of text files. So I have created two new text files. First, I will go inside upper.txt. Here, you can directly copy the values without any names. Click on copy and click on paste. Save the file. We will follow the same procedure for lower curve. I have created another text document named lower. Go inside the document, select the values, click copy and click paste. Now we have our notepad files ready in order to import them into ANSYS Design Modeler. After completing this procedure, you can save your Excel file and close it. Next. Open your ANSYS Workbench Fluent and drag in the Fluid Flow Fluent tab. You can open ANSYS Workbench by typing in Workbench inside your search bar. Right click on Geometry and open it with Design Modeler. Once the Design Modeler has opened, click on Concept and click on 3D Curve. It is asking us for the coordinate file and we will select upper.txt first. Click on open. We need to generate the curve. Click on generate. If you click on fit all button, you can see that a line body has been imported inside our ANSYS design modeler. This is the upper curve of our airfoil. Repeat the same procedure to import the lower curve. Click on 3D curve. Select the definition as from coordinates file. Select the coordinates file and click on lower.txt. Click on open. We need to generate this curve. Click on generate. Now you can clearly see that a line body has been imported into our ANSYS Workbench Design Modeler. If you observe, the tailing end is meeting at a single point and it has been closed now. We need to convert this 2D sketch into a 3D geometry. To do that, select the line body, click on Concept, and click on surface from edges. Click on apply. You need to select the edges. You can keep your left mouse button clicked and drag over both the curves. Click on apply. The two curves have been selected. We need to generate the surface. Click on generate. You can see that a surface body has been generated. Now we just need to extrude this body and we will be ready with a 3D wing for our NACA 2412 airfoil. Click on the extrude option. Click on the surface body, click apply. It will ask you for the direction vector. We want to extrude our geometry in the Z direction. To extrude the geometry in the Z direction, we need to select the plane which is perpendicular to the Z axis. In this case, it is XY plane. You can select XY plane from the geometry tree. It has detected the direction vector correctly. Click on apply. We want the length of our wing to be 3 meters in total and we want it to extrude symmetrically about the xy axis. So I will select the direction as both symmetric. I will enter the value of 1.5 meters each. This will make our wing of total length 3 meters. Click on generate. Finally, our solid wing has been generated. 
This is the most straightforward way I found out to plot NACA 2412 airfoil inside Design Modeler. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment down below if you know any other strategy to import the coordinate points of airfoil into Design Modeler. This is the first part. In the second part, we will see how to calculate lift and drag forces over this wing. Goodbye till then.